Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the second problem of the quiz. In this problem, we're given the joint moment generating function of x and y by this expression. We're asked to find the expected value of x times y. Now we recall that the moment generating function of x and y as a function of s and t is the expected value of the exponential of s times x plus t times y. And when you have a discrete number of terms in your moment generating function, as we do over here, we can actually pluck off the values of x and y respectively. So this term over here tells us that x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 1 with probability 1 over 16. This term over here tells us that x equals, well, x is the s term, so x will be equal to 1, and y is equal to negative 1, and the probability that this happens is 1 quarter. This 1 eighth term, there is no exponent, so that means s is 0 and t is 0, so x is 0 and y is 0, with probability 1 eighth. This term over here has the probability that x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to positive 1, has probability 1 16th. And finally, the last term over here tells us that they're both equal to 1, x equals 1, y equals 1, with probability 1 4th. And this term over here is a 1, uh, and we missed one term over here, this, last, this term over here that says the t exists, so y equals 1, and x equals 0. This occurs with probability 1 quarter. Now we have all of the distributional values of x and y, we can compute the expected value of x times y. So the expected value of x times y, well, it'll be negative 1 times negative 1, with probability 1 over 16. It will be 1 and negative 1, with probability 1 quarter. It will be 0 and 0, with probability 1 eighth. It will be 1 and negative 1, with probability 1 16th. It will be 1 and 1, with probability 1 quarter. And finally, it will be probability 1, uh, 0 and 1, with probability 1 quarter. Now we can cancel out some of these things. So we can clearly cancel out this term over here. That's a 0 and a 0. That's a 0 and a 1. And now we look at these terms over here. So this first term is going to give us 1 over 16. This next term gives us negative 1 over 4. This term gives us negative 1 over 16, so thankfully those two terms will cancel out. And this term over here gives us positive 1 quarter, and that will cancel with this. So the expected value of x times y in this problem, by computing directly, by first principles, is equal to 0. Now, we could have found the expected value of x times y by taking an alternative way to do this problem, is we could have looked at partial squared m with respect to s and with respect to t at 0, 0, and this partial derivative would have also given us the expected value of x times y by the definition of the moment generating function. Thank you very much.